Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's continue our work on SIRDS um, with this one. Express root 3 over 1 minus root 3 minus 1 over root 3 as a single fraction and simplify by rationalizing the denominator. So this builds on the works we were doing last week where um, we looked at the rules of SIRD. So just like any other fraction, you'll need a common denominator, uh, which you'll always get a common denominator by multiplying the bottoms by each other like such. Okay, so that's this denominator by this denominator. And you'll definitely get a common denominator by doing that. It may not be the lowest one, but you'll get a, a common one. Okay, and then one minus root three into this goes root three times by what's on top. Or the way some other students do it is, is when there's two fractions is a bit of a crisscross. So it's root three by root three minus one times one over, so one times this one. Okay, so it's root three by root three, one by one minus root three. Okay, and it's all over the common denominator. So then let's just um, tidy this up. Root three by root three, we had that rule last week, will give us three. Now I have minus one by one is minus one minus by minus plus one by root three is root three. Over, then on the bottom, I have one times root three gives me root three. Uh, minus root three by root three gives me minus, well, root three by root three is three. Okay, let's tidy him up. Three minus one is two plus root three on the top. We tend to write the rational piece first, like such. So I would write the bottom as minus three plus root three. Okay, we need to rationalize the denominator then. Okay, so we have written it now as a single fraction, but um, we don't like having irrational numbers in our denominator. So we need to rationalize that. Okay, so to do that, we have two plus root three over minus three plus root three, and we multiply it by the conjugate of the bottom. So what I'm doing is I'm changing the sign here in the middle, changing the sign before the third. Okay, that's why we don't tend to leave it like this, just in case you were tempted to change this sign. Um, what we want is the thirds to cancel. So it's the sign in front of the third we need to change. Okay, so that's why we multiply it by um, the middle sign changed or the sign in front of the third. What I multiply the bottom by, I must also multiply the top by. So minus three minus root three goes on top as well. So that this number is essentially one. Anything over itself is one. Okay, so it becomes a long multiplication one. You can write it out as two by everything in the second bracket, plus root three by everything in the second bracket. Over, split the first bracket again, minus three by everything in the second bracket. And then go back for the plus th root three by everything in the second bracket. Okay, let's multiply him out. So two by minus three is minus six. Two by minus root three is minus two root three. So just take your time, do the sign first, then the rational, then the irrational. Okay, and then we're done with that first bracket. And now I have plus root three by minus three, well plus by minus is a minus. And I have three times root three as such. And then I go on to plus root three by minus root three, where plus by minus is a minus. Root three by root three is three. 
Okay, and then on the bottom, I have minus three by minus three, which is nine. I have minus three by minus root three. So minus by minus is a plus three root three. Then in the next part, I have plus by minus is a minus three root three. And then I have plus by minus is a minus root three by root three is three. Okay, and just like we'd expect, the whole reason we do this process is so that in our denominator, we only are left with rational numbers. So that's what it means by rationalizing the denominator. The thirds cancel. And if you don't get the thirds to cancel in the bottom, you've either made a mistake in your multiplying or you've got this little part wrong. You've got a sign wrong. Okay. So let's tidy him up then. I have minus six minus three is minus nine. And I have minus two root three is minus three root three is minus five root three. All over nine minus three is six. Okay. That is a perfectly acceptable answer. I could write it as minus nine over six minus five root three over six. And this bit here would cancel down a little bit if you want it. I'm dividing top and bottom by three minus five root three over six. There's not much I can do to that second part. So you can do that if you wish, or I think it's perfectly acceptable to leave your answer as what I'm showing you here. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.